Hey, Brandon, with all that went on, did you feel in the eighth inning, did you feel fortunate to, to come out with a win? Yeah, I felt fortunate. When you get four hits through 11 innings against the New York Yankees, you're not usually going to win. And uh, credit goes to our guys for battling, staying with it. Our bullpen really did a great job. Uh, a lot of good things on the mound tonight for us. Uh, got a couple big homers from from Mount Mullins and Santander and a uh, chance with a little nine iron single. And, and uh, but... Our, our bullpen won us that game. Nathan? Brandon, could you kind of just take us through your vantage point of that final play? Well, he hit the ball to the right guy. Uh, yeah, it was, I knew it was a, you know, a line drive. Uh, Tony can really throw, and he, and he throws accurately. You saw him on the throw uh, that was in the eighth. Um, made a nice throw there, too, but he let this one go knowing that there's no batter or runner uh, to get it all the way to the plate and, and made a really strong throw. So, um, yeah, Tone, it was just a, you know, and uh, Sevy did a really nice job. Tag, tag the, the, the play in the eighth also. So Sevy with the tag in the, in the uh, 11th was, was outstanding. Joe? Brandon, g given the, the steps forward that so many of, of your relievers took last year and how well the bullpen's pitched as a, as a whole this year so far, what, what do you think the potential is for that group? Well, there's there we don't still don't have a ton of experience down there, so games like this you definitely want to you feel like it's going to boost their confidence and continue to grow. I mean Tanner Scott, that was lights out stuff. Really happy with how Dylan Tate threw the ball. Uh, you know Paul Fry there at the end came in tough situation pumping strikes huge. Uh, so and then Cesar Valdez just. He's just a really good pitcher, and he's such a weapon because he can do so many different things. So really happy with how our guys threw. Nathan? Before that, what would you make of John Means' outing? You know, I thought Johnny battled. I didn't think he had his best stuff. I didn't think he had his, the breaking balls that he had in Boston. You know, the pitch count was up, but he showed the kind of competitor he is without his best stuff, being able to grind through five innings only given up a run uh, to a, you know, a really, really good lineup. Right-handed, majority right-handed lineup, tough pit, tough lineup to pitch to. And we played good defense behind him. Cedric made a couple of really nice plays in center field. Uh, but I thought it was just kind of a little bit of a battle for John. And, you know, it just, like I said, he just showed the competitor he is by being able to get through five innings without his best stuff, only giving up a run. Joe? Brandon, how, how difficult is the play that Mount, Mount Castle had to make on, on the Sanchez liner? And is that something that you will address with him, or is that something that you just flush? Well, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the replay on it. Uh, you know, it came off hot off the bat. It probably was hooking. It's windy. So, yeah, I don't want to really comment on that till till I see it again. But, um, you know, Ryan's going to make some mistakes in left field. He hasn't. He's played there for a month. So... He played. He did a nice job in left field last year. He's continuing to grow and he's continuing to uh, learn ballparks and understand how to play the outfield. It's not a finished product yet by any means, and he's going to make mistakes, and that's okay. We're going to live with him because we believe in the player.